Hey everybody, Chase here at Geek Gamer TV. I'm here with Joe from Oculus. Hey guys. And uh, Joe, I'm going to try this for the very first time. I've never tried this before. Kind of describe in words, because it's going to be hard for us to show it, obviously. What am I going to experience? So what you're going to experience is what we call HDVR. It's basically the dev kit which we've been shipping to game developers all over the world now, but with a 1080p panel grafted on the front instead of the 720p panel which the dev kit ships with. Really just something from our labs that we wanted to show and, and give people a glimpse of what's coming in terms of, uh, in terms of how good we think VR is going to be in the future. So, so when I turn my head, yep. Everything turns with it, so up, down, left, right, all that? Absolutely. There's a small tracker right here in the front that picks up where you're looking, and then based off of uh, a little bit of math, we can figure out exactly what the environment needs to look like, and we change it pretty much on the fly, and latency is definitely one of those things we fight, so we think we have a pretty good solution so far to have a pretty quick response. So whenever you look to the right, that world shouldn't lag behind. It should be right there. It should feel exactly like it should. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on. Uh, Joe's going to grab the microphone and going to put it in front of my mouth, and I'm going to try to describe with my awesome words what it feels like. So, all right, here we go. All right, let's do this. All right. All right, have a seat. All right. You got you. Take it with both hands. All right, both Bring hands. it up to your eyes. Okay. Like binoculars. There's a sweet spot in the center that I want you to find. Okay, okay. You got it. A little bit of adjustment there. All right, no problem. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No comment, not saying anything. That's all right. All right, is everything clear? Yep, everything cool. looks good. Before we do anything else? The bottom part's a little blurry, but I don't know. You're going to have a little bit of blurry in the periphery. That's just down to how we how our oh, okay. create that field of view. All right. So before we do anything, look around. We want to get people used to looking around with their heads. So, so look left, look right, look up, look Whoa, down. so it looks like I'm in a, in a cockpit. You're in a mech. In you a mech. In a mech in Hawking. And... Uh, it, wow. This, Turn all the way around, look behind you. Oh my goodness, so I could see like, it's like I want to reach up and grab it, right? It's like, you don't see your hands, but other than that, that's just, that's unreal. Yep, and you should be able to reach out and touch the instruments, or you feel like you should be able to? Yeah, exactly, it's like, right yeah, they're right here, yeah. If you look out your windows, you'll see weapon systems. Yep, there's yep. one there, and Cannon, one there. The Man, you guys should really see this. This yeah. looks phenomenal. Great. This looks great. Okay, all right. The sticks will move you around. All right. So if you Whoa. Have an idea what that feels like. Okay. All right. Lower, what, lower triggers are your fire buttons. Okay. Uh, oh, my goodness. And then this is the fun button. Hold this bumper down. That will basically let you fly. We have you in God mode, so <laughs> unlimited thrust. You can fly as high as you want. Get up to <laughs> nice and high and then look down, and you'll get a good sense of depth. One of the things Whoa. that you have really good for is creating a sense of scale. And of course, when that scale is vertical, it's height. So. so, as far as the graphics engine goes, what what I see this is is this running off of a, just a normal, say, high end gaming PC? Yeah, this is just a gaming PC. We could crap. You're sitting on it right now. We could just crack it open and uh, take a look at it. Nothing particularly special. Just a nice gaming PC with a nice GPU. Now, as far as far as gaming goes. Do most games have to be basically custom designed and developed for this, or could uh, another game be easily adapted for it? Ideally, well, first of all, all games have to essentially be at least, uh, how do I say this? They have to use our SDK. It's not like you can take a game off the shelf and plug it in and it'll work. So that said, uh, the first games that you're seeing right now, for instance, Hawk and NI Racing, they're ports of existing games. What we really think is going to be exciting is when uh, game developers like the Hawken team can take a look at VR, really understand and learn the lessons from Hawken and create from the ground up scratch built VR games that really take advantage of VR. For instance, all the things that you're feeling and seeing right now, and then also avoid some of those, uh, some of the things that are less desirable about VR. So. Yeah. Are there other applications that are going to be made for this? Uh, you know, for example, say you know remote flights uh, uh, in real world, uh, you know drones or model airplanes or I think someone's actually hooked up a hexcopter to, to one of, or a quadcopter to one of these already. That, that's something I really want to do. Yeah, yeah. It, there's a video on it. I, I forgot. I just YouTube uh, YouTube drone Oculus. It, it'll show up. Yeah, it's it's pretty exciting stuff. There's there's all sorts of applications, not just in terms of flight and uh, and uh, flight simulation and training, but also medical architecture. Anything where where you really need to have a good understanding of the digital representation of the environment, it's incredibly powerful. So, is there going to be any kind of uh, possibly like voice activation or something where I, I not only I can interact with my cockpit by looking around and stuff, but I could say, you know, activate this or do something like that. Right now, we're focused 
pretty we're focused on sight. Right. We're such visual creatures, so yeah. by really nailing down the sight, you the, the vision component of VR, we're able to pretty much trick the brain. Now there's tons of other components of immersion. For instance, you mentioned voice control. There's also gesture control. Earlier you mentioned I want to see my hands. Yeah. Uh, you want to see your body. There's tons of other components of VR that we're not quite there yet, but we're really focused on the vision. Now, speaking of which, audio is another big component, so I'm going to give you some headphones, oh, okay. and here's where I think you're going to slip yourself into the world of Hawkins, so All get right. ready. So, how's that? There we go. Okay. Whoa. Audio, audio in general adds to the immersion. At this point, we lose people, and we have to wake them up a few minutes later when they won't leave. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been following, I mean, everybody's been following Oculus from the beginning. Firing weapons and, and the, the really neat effect is I you know I see the the bullet trails coming from behind the weapons and it really gives an and the missiles and it gives an, an incredible perspective. It's really hard to describe. I know I I said I would suck at this, uh, but I mean it, it's true. It, you take your awesome best first person shooter and you're taking it to the extreme level. And the one thing I love about this is it, it feels dare I say natural. It doesn't feel, I know this is a virtual world and all, but it doesn't feel, it feels more natural. It's really hard to... It's not like 3D that you use where you have glasses or shutters or something like that. I can see depths and the shapes, uh, you know, shadows, and it feels like that that's a texture over there that I can actually go out and touch as opposed to just watching it on a screen wearing just normal 3D glasses or something. This. This feels real. This is not. It doesn't feel gimmicky at all. Um, it feels solid. It feels really, really good. And it. I know this would probably make some people sick. Do you have a lot of people that need a, a bucket or something after possibly playing this? No, not. I, we haven't heard of anyone actually needing a bucket, but uh, it can be a little bit uh, overwhelming for people at first, depending on your own personal sensitivity, the content. We tend to try to pick content that's exciting still, but not overwhelming. You know, it's uh, for instance, we've got a racing game over there. Uh, we've got Hawk in here. They're both cockpit games. Nate is actually uh, Nate, Nate can give tons of uh, tons of great insight in terms of game design and probably the easiest to acclimate types of games uh, initially, but beyond that, there's tons of experimentation to still be done, and there's nothing saying that other games that are, for instance, there, there's skydiving games out there right now that are absolutely terrifying, but they're still fun. So I, I definitely got to say, uh, I mean, in, in doing this just short demo, I mean, I know I'm at PAX right now, but it doesn't feel like I'm at PAX right now. It, it really, it's really phenomenal. It's, yeah, it's, it's an incredible that's, thing. That's our goal, to put as much of you in the game as possible. Right now we're starting with vision and we're really, really hoping to nail that part down. So, cool. What do you think? Thank you so much.